Hi. Hello. Hello. How are you? I'm... I'm alright. I guess. Um, I've been to the nether. I found nether fortress. I've got a nether fortress loot, namely stuff in here like blaze rods and wither bones and necrotic bones, which are also wither bones. They're the same wither bones. And as well as that, I've got a couple other things which are in my inventory. Um, ignoring all the blocks. First of all, this, the climbing gloves. They're the gloves that allow me to climb. Uh, here, the heart container, which I have no idea what it does, but I can eat it. Maybe it'll give me ten extra hearts. It gave me one, actually. That's, that's kind of unfortunate. And then here, we have the evoker fang. Um, I know what it does. I don't know if you know what it does. Don't know if you're still watching the video, even. But uh, the evoker fangs, essentially, if we find a nice test subject somewhere. Is there a skeleton in the pond? I'd love to use another skeleton in the pond. Hello, skeleton. You're in the pond. Yeah. That's about it. I like it. That's going in my inventory pouch thing. Uh, so, yes, over here I'm building a barn, because today I want to get the canola stuff set up. So I can get more and shock renewable power. But, uh, actually, before that, I'm going to distract myself with something else. Uh, like, for example, heart containers. I've been, uh, whilst killing mobs, I've just been getting these red heart drops. Now they, apparently, can be used to be made heart containers. And a heart amulet. I have no idea what this does. What does this do? Well, I don't know. But the, the heart containers themselves are made like this, with canister, wither bones, and relic apples. I think I can make a couple of those, namely eight, because this counts as a withered bone, but, hmm, if I'm gonna, I might use it as a modifier, you see, but if I do that, I'm not going to, so I'm going to use it up, right now, right here, right now, da, da, okay, so, getting on that, the hearts, there are eight bones there, so eight hearts. Eight hearts means eight canisters. Canisters are eight of the regular bones, around 32 iron. Right. So, just like so. I'm out of iron in my inventory, here's 32 more. And now, finally, the most expensive part of this, probably the relic apples. Which are made from apples, diamonds and emeralds. I might not have enough emeralds. I do. I have enough emeralds. It does, however, use up the majority of my emeralds. But it's fine, it's fine. You know what, this reminds me of something else that I'm going to add to here. So there's an easy way of getting more emeralds. A digital miner. Gets me lots of emeralds. And, uh, we'll make that soon. Anyway, uh, 16 emeralds going here and here. 16 diamonds, of which I have plenty of diamonds aren't a problem, and apples, apple, apple, that's 9, there's 8, and there's 8 relic apples. And what I do with this, I combine it into 8 hard canisters, well, 1 plus another 7. Now, I have no idea how you use these hard canisters, I have to be honest. I'm... I'm going to have to go search it up on my other screen. Okay, so uh, the Bobbly Heart Canisters, I've got an achievement for it, by the way. Apparently going to Bobble Slot. Oh, somewhere. I don't know where. And I don't know what it does. But apparently Heart Amulet holds them all. So I need to make that. Luckily, I have plenty of hearts. And, uh... Everything else that I need, such as glass and string. Glass is now no longer a problem with me having, you know, just 1,202 glass from my big system, which I love, which is very handy and is will continue to be very handy. The oil has been replenished. I'm 
And quite a lot of tar and sulfur. Mmm, tar. Mmm, environmental damage. Anyway. To make a heart amulet. And now, what do I do with this? I do this. Now I've got eight hearts in there. can put this on as an amulet slot. And suddenly I have 50 health. Take it off. I have 34 health. Put it back on. 50 health. 25 whole hearts. There we go. That's nice. These these climbing gloves, um... I could put on a ball slot, which I'm going to. Why not? Oh yeah, the lava charms. The lava charms from Terraria that I've got about, uh... Oh, only four extra of. And some other stuff as well, such as the, um... Enchanter Scroll of Purification from the Tombstone mod. And another one of these. One of these allows you to store your experience. I don't know how to. A uh, fire charm. A potion wand. A prospector. An air charm. Another one, probably. Uh, no, it isn't. It's a different one. One of these. Two of these. Uh, stuff like that. And one of these. This is, uh, I think, fairly crap. Oh, and the lightning rod. Hmm. The lightning rod. Let me just demonstrate the lightning rod quickly. Somewhere which won't cause too much damage. Do 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 boo. Pop. Yep. I don't like that one. I prefer the evoker's fang to be honest. So I'm gonna keep that right here where it belongs. I mean that's that's pretty much it, isn't it? Fifty hearts. Just just casually fifty hearts. Right now, I need to get back to building this barn. I think I'm probably going to do a fairly straightforward barn design. Maybe have a second story here. Maybe not. No, I'm going to have a second story here. Have the barn slightly taller so you'll notice that it's four block gaps instead of three. Uh, I could even remove this and just have this whole... Or maybe... <clears> hmm. <throat> uh, here's what I'll do. I'll have the sides be three, but the middle be four, so it's got a nice tiered thing look to it. There we go. Depth and elevation change. How to be a good builder. And then I'll have like curved roofs, sloped roofs, and just have like a nice sort of barn thing. Maybe even use wisdom wood planks. And uh Yeah, wisdom wood planks. Because I, I forgot about those. I have to I have to be honest. I am. Um, whilst building the house, I forgot about wisdom wood. I forgot that it existed, and that's a damn shame because now I'm stuck on spruce. It's I have to use. I have to keep a consistent theme. I can't use wisdom wood, even though wisdom wood is a. Uh, well, it's just better, isn't it? Uh, do I have any? I. Do not. Do I have any in here? I do not. Anyway. Uh, because wisdom wood just looks nicer, you know? Wisdom wood, great wood, stuff like that. They're just, they're just nicer than the vanilla woods. Their texture is better. Hmm. So let's, let me just convert this entire stack of logs into that. Look at this. That's a nice texture. But since I'm on spruce, I, I have to use spruce, to be, unfortunately. One thing though I'm not sure on is I'm the stairs may be broken. Uh, there's a very good chance of that. I think it's something to do with the mod pack with the stairs being broken. Uh, then of course there's the slabs, which I dearly hope are not broken. I mean I hope both of them aren't broken, but if they are, then that's a shame. I can only use it as like a flooring or something. Broken. Broken. Damn. I'm disappointed, guys. I'm very much disappointed. That's some solid-looking wood right there, but it's it's some it's broken in all the mods. So what can I use this for? A floor, but I made this floor out of stone. So I mean, unless I want to rip the floor up and make it out of wisdom, you know, leave that with me. I'll decide that whilst I'm building this, okay? You, um, just so stay there, relax, have a sip, have a cup of tea, whilst there's an instant 
transition. Okay, so um, the barn is now built. Yep, it's it's this. It's not it's not that much. It's not major or anything, nothing fancy. Uh, but the barn is built, and I guess on the opposite side of it, I'm going to do a farm. The farm for the canola. Uh, because um, if I haven't mentioned already, I'm planning to do the canola thing, which I should have mentioned already, and I think I did. Anyway, uh, the, the farm for the canola, if this is the path, which this, this is, because this is my world and I decide where the paths go, uh, this is a path that means the farm needs to be a bit offset from the path, so that we can get all like the stuffs ready. Um, I think I'm gonna have like the farm around here and then have some barrels, I think maybe? Uh, have like the harvester leading to barrels and then these barrels then as like a buff and then these barrels then lead inside here to where the a canola processing is going to start but that does necessitate taking out all of this farmland and destroying all of these worms unfortunately it's quite sad really but well it it must be done wasn't it and then creating a new farmland um yes i think the farmland will just go on the border right here just like this so i have some nice terraces always like some terraces and uh from that just uh yeah from that just the max farm that you can get from one block of water i'll get the canola planted up okay so the um ahem, the chorus the Canola farm has been planted and is gonna just sort of grow there for the next while I guess because uh, to have it fully automatically harvestable uh, I would need essentially a planter harvester industrial foregoing or was it mine yeah these things uh, which require plastic so further the earth on the list I have plastic and industrial foregoing which that's what I'm going to focus on uh, this episode even though I said I was going to do canola but this is related to canola so it's all fine it's all fine really anyway so 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 um, first of all I made a drying rack but then this is this is just to because I'm running out of protein really uh, I have I don't really have any cooked meats or have too much of a capability of getting any so the easiest way to do it is to use rotten flesh on a drying rack which will get me enough protein to keep the 32 hearts I think it's only if this drops below 70 or something that uh yeah I lose my I lose uh what was it four points from my 50 which would be a shame I like my 50 hearts so Anyway, on the industrial foregoing side, uh, first of all, what I need is the latex extractor. Uh, that's not helping me, really. Uh, latex? Well, no, because I've got, of course. Yes, the latex ex latex processing unit. Uh, and then tree fluid extractor there we go these two things and as well as like a block placer just some sort of automatic block placer uh, I think this does it automatically although I'm not entirely sure and it is the cheapest although maybe the open blocks one the open blocks one then and then and then just just logs just logs in there and a couple conduits maybe if I get a configurator I could use uh, mechanism pipes which pff, fairly typical really yeah sure let's go for that first which means I need quite a lot of shit for that alright uh, first of all get those banged in there and I shall work on the latex process, the tree fluid extractor, which just needs stone and iron gears and furnaces and redstone. Oh, that's fine. That's great. That's easy. And four of those to go on one log. Even if I have made eight. 
Uh, but I do need the iron gears, of course. And I need the furnaces. The furnaces I have. I have all of this stuff, but I need the redstone and the iron gears. The iron gears I need four, which means I need, well, 16 iron. Four, 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 bop. Perfect. Uh, the tree fluid extractor. That's four of those. Now, uh, what's next? The latex processing unit, which needs two more furnaces. I have those. The iron, an iron gear, a steel casing, or a machine frame block. <gasps> Whoa. Whoa, this is, this is starting to quickly get out of hand. I have to use steel. I can't use steel. I don't have graphite. I, I mean, so I have to use machine block frames, which means I have to use tin. I've just, I've looked into the all the mods changes for this, but this is frankly radical. I am shocked. I am surprised. I am horrored by by the travesty that is happening right now. Um, mm, passing over that. There's a latex processing unit. Is this done? This is done. Let's chuck about. Mm, Six, eight ingots of osmium into here. Let that go. Wants to make myself a configurator for no reason in particular other than I kinda want to use mechanism pipes just because they're the... They're, they're honestly, I think, they're probably some of the cheapest ones for now. Uh, unless, they may, unless they need steel, in which case, never mind. Well. Oh well. Essentially, if I use those, it means I don't have to make servos, but evidently, I still have to make servos. Because I don't have steel, and how do I get s even steel ingot? Come on. I do need my steel, though. Like, steel, steel is something I'm going to constantly need, especially if I go down to digital mining. I'm going to need tons of steel. And the best way to get it is by coal coke, or charcoal, or smelting down steel tools, which is just, you know, not an option, really. And or using this. Now, hmm. See, that's where I need the cold coke for, but the cold coke can come later. For now, I'll just take the hit and uh, use the, the item ducts. Even if they do take the stained hardened glass, I have lots of hardened glass. Aha, see. I was making hardened glass off camera, so I have a lot of hardened glass. I could even get these like vac glowstone filled to make them faster. Uh, right, the servos. I need a couple servos. I don't know how many. Just there we go. Let's go with uh, let's go with four. If we've got any left over, um, that's fine. Left over. I'll just use later. I'm always going to need more servers, really. So, now the block placer from Open Blocks. I hope this doesn't need a redstone signal. That would be mightily inconvenient. I don't want to have to go clock, 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 put a redstone clock there, but, uh, might do. Anyway, um, coming over here. Gosh, I wish I had travel anchors. I don't. Coming over here, though. The um, where do I put the latex thing? So I'm gonna have the obviously the harvester harvester here have it all piped into barrels, which will drawers, which will go here. I need two really, and this can go down here to uh, like a tiny chest over. Here. This can go down here to I guess here, where it'll start going to a wall of. A wall of squeezers. I can always make more squeezers, I guess. Hold on. Uh, Squee fermenting. I think it's fermenter. Fermenting barrel. E fermenting barrel. All right. It's it's on here somewhere. Um, you need a canola press. Right. And then you can ferment it later. Okay. Okay, okay, so so it's the canola press. Which 
Okay, so we can do that. Uh, but anyway, that goes into there, and this will probably be all the full generation here. I'm just going to place it outside, to be honest with you. That's just the best place for it. Like, right, right, smack bang here. We can have... I need power lines. Oh, gosh. Right, smack bang here. We can have the... Uh, I'll have the processing unit probably this side. So you can have the shit. Alright, uh can have the log going here. We have this and this and this and this. Now they'll start getting things from the logs when they've that they're doing it right now. Uh below that log it's going to be a block placer. Now that's that's not that's not facing the right what the fuck that's not facing the right way. Gonna be a block placer. Okay. Does this place automatically? No, it doesn't. Also, it doesn't let me press E to escape, which fucking stop. Okay. Now I could give make another block placer. Or, on the other hand. I have the stuff to make a redstone clock. And even if it will lag my world that ever a bit slightly, it's it's easy, right? It's the easiest thing to do. Uh but where to put it? That is the question. Below. Because I need to extract latex out of these, which I'll do from I guess the back and above. Mm-hmm. No, I'll do from that from above. Below. Yep. Oh gosh. That was a bad choice. <sighs> Man, woe is me trying to find the right bloody block pacer, am I right? So this one has just been proved useless because it's noisy as fuck. And I don't know about you, but I, I don't want that. That's not good. Noisy as fuck is not good. So I need some other kind of block placer. Maybe like this, the Project Red one. Maybe that will be slightly better. We 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 can, you know, we can see. That's slightly better. Then I'll take it. Well, as long as it places automatically. Place. Okay, doesn't place automatically. That's. So it needs a resident signal. Oh. That's nice, that's quiet at least. That's good. That's good. We found ourselves the block placer. The right block placer. Not the wrong block placer. The other one was the wrong block placer. And I'll I'll rest and clock it up. It's Yeah. Check for block, place for block. When I have my redstone clock. Rhyming. Check out them them rhymes. Oh. Oh. That's facing the wrong way still. Every single time. I can't place the right way. I need to wait for that. Uh -huh. Perfect. I can like place this in there. Yeah. And it'll start placing immediately. Oh. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Why does it do that? Oh. I frankly, I have no idea. Also, frankly, I don't give a damn. That's fine. I'll build a tree into it. You know, make it look nice. Uh, but now I need a chest to store more logs in. More of those good old logs, and then from here we can simply put a servo to extract from the chest into there. Done. Latex produce production is now underway. The latex processing unit can go right a boot if we go ba 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 here. Now energy from everywhere. So the latex can only go from the top. The output can only go to the left. The fluid containers whatever. Okay? Okay. That's just broken. So, uh, these... I fucking hope they auto-output latex. If they don't, I'm gonna have to make so many more servos. 
which would be really, really annoying. Oh gosh, making so many servers. Now, uh, um, we could use these fluid ducts. What are the better fluid ducts? Uh, hardened fluid ducts, which are invar. But I don't need to do lava and stuff, so. You know, cheapness. Cheap is better than high quality. And expensive. And this is honest, it's good enough quality, right? If it's good enough, it's bet it's good enough. That's what good enough means. Hmm. So, of course I see they're getting no latex out. Ah uh, well. Tis a shame. Tis a shame. It means I have to servo it out. And that means I have to make one more servo. Also, maybe I should, you know, use my brain and use a slime sling to get across quicker. It's not as if I take four damage. The servo now, I uh, am running out of Electrum. Yeah, I have noticed that. It's not... It's not, like, it's not a good thing to get more Electrum. Yes. The servo goes here, uh huh, and that low, and low, and low, and fucking low, and this is now filling it with latex. Perfectly fine, all is dandy. Right, that's that. This can output into a chest with another servo, which I don't have. Which, um, yeah, I don't have, but that, because, okay, in here to get plastic, and I know plastic tools exist for some reason, 1,500 durability, minus one attack, oh, right, very durable, very flimsy, you need dry rubber, which needs to be crafted from 90 tiny dry rubber, which is what you get from the latex processing unit, which means I need some sort of cyclic assembler, fabricator, thermal uh, assembler, no, fabricate, oh yeah, the fabricator, and then I need a redstone furnace. With these two things, uh, I can finally get myself a storage drawer of rubber. But I'm afraid we'll have to leave it there for today. Uh, that's going to happen next time because I am out of time. Alright, so have a nice day.